published 0631 EDT, 29 October 2017 updated 0744 EDT, 29 October 2017 Troy Deeney and Joe Allen clashed during Watford's game against Stoke City on Saturday. The Watford striker went in for a tackle on Allen during the second off with his team 10 down and time running out. Deeney seemed to kick out at Allen after the challenge. He then vented his frustrations after the Stoke man reacted by advancing towards his larger opponent. Troy Deeney and Joe Allen clashed off the ball during Saturday's encounter at Vicarage Road. The Watford striker sank his hands into Allen's face and grabbed him around the neck. Deeney also laughed in the face of the Wales international midfielder during the incident. The striker was only booked for his actions during injury time as Watford lost 10. Troy Deeney must be charged and suspended by the FA disciplinary department after viewing the video replays of his disgraceful assault on Stokes' Joe Allen. The pictures clearly show Deeney pressing his thumb with great force and determination into Allen's cheek. It's a gouge type of offence, and the maniacal look on Deeney's face reveals the extent of his intentions. Referee Michael Oliver showed both players a yellow card for the aggressive confrontation, but it was impossible for him to see the violent act of the Watford player from his viewing position meaning the FA can act on a separate more serious offence. While violent conduct usually attracts a three-match ban it'd support a longer absence from action for Deeney, such as the force of his attack. Deeney seemed to put both hands on Allen's neck and then sunk his fingers into the Wales international's face. The comparative size of both players meant Deeney was able to lift Allen into the air, which he did, while laughing in his face. Eventually players from both sides intervened, which stopped the incident from becoming more serious. Even so, there has been shock at the fact Deeney was only booked for his actions. According to the laws of the game, Deeney is likely to be retrospectively charged with violent conduct. The laws read violent conduct is when a player uses or attempts to use excessive force or brutality against an opponent, when not challenging for the ball, or against a teammate, team official, match official, spectator or any other person, regardless of whether contact is made. One person who expects that judgment to be handed down to him is sports male's refereeing expert Graham Pohl. Deeney's size relative to Allen meant he was able to lift the midfielder off his feet. Deeney is pulled away from the incident on Saturday by his teammate Richarlison Stoke captain Ryan Shawcross speaks to the Watford striker after the incident said Troy Deeney must be charged and suspended by the FA disciplinary department after viewing the video replays of his disgraceful assault on Stoke's Joe Allen. If Deeney were handed the usual three-match ban for violent conduct on the pitch, he would miss Watford's games against Everton, West Ham and Newcastle. An extended suspension could also see him be rendered unavailable for the game against Manchester United. If he were banned for as many as five games, he would not be able to play during the visit of Tottenham Hotspur.